I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, today we are doing an unboxing of one of my weird little dolls. And uh, I should be sleeping right now. It's 2.24 in the morning. I don't know. I really just really wanted to open this doll today. Uh, but in case you don't know, uh, today is probably going to be a double video uploading day. I will probably have a video on my main channel as well because just in case you guys didn't know, I am doing all 31 days of Vlogoween and honestly I'm like more excited for the videos that I'm going to be doing later this month. I feel like I'm going to be doing like some sewing DIY stuff like all of a sudden at the very end of uh, September I was like hit with a burst of inspiration of all of these cool like vintage pattern DIY things that I could get and make and do for vlogoween but uh i ordered all the supplies and now i'm having to wait for them to come into the mail anyway let's open the doll i was originally gonna wait to open this guy until november but i'm craving this little unboxing experience today so we're gonna do it uh i'm gonna unbox it and then we will talk about it because i'm feeling particularly excited about this doll because I think he's gonna be one that is like, he's smaller than a normal size baby, I think. Uh, and I think I'm gonna be able to do more like funny, like kind of prop photography with this with this little guy. I don't know, let's find out. Let's, uh, let's slice and dice. I've got this extremely dull knife, but it looks so pretty. <gasps> oh, so pretty, so not, that functional. Look, you guys, you guys will see with this up close. Okay, now it's just slicing the tape perfectly. Thanks for making me look really stupid. Oh, um, also, you guys may notice, no you don't, because this giant box, this camera's too high for you guys to see, and this box is blocking off uh, this little guy back here. Ooh, do you guys remember my werewolf baby? I don't remember what year I got him or what year I unboxed him, but I have him here with us today for reference because this doll is by the same artist. I will link you guys to their Etsy page. Um, I really love this doll. Um, I wish that I like photographed him more and like did more fun things. I don't know you guys, it's like I keep trying to find that one perfect baby. Why do I think I need like a sidekick doll? Like literally, why is that something that I think I need? I don't know, <laughs> but that's what we're on the quest for, ladies and gents. So let's unbox him and uh, you guys can probably guess what type of baby this is. Is this gonna show? Oh my gosh, no, this is like all instructions. Like don't do anything I'm probably gonna do. Oh, and then we have like a birth certificate. Why did I say birth certificate so creepily? Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. It's paper. Ooh, maybe this guy is bigger than I thought he was. I don't know. Also, I literally looked down and I thought it was wrapped in like a dish cloth. Like, you know, like a kitchen, a kitchen cloth. Okay, so this little guy does not look like he comes with any accessories unless you count wads of paper as accessories. I feel like some reborn artists do that. They include like extra diapers, extra clothing, some accessories, and then some people don't do that. So this is one that I guess just came with this. I don't know, but maybe I should just shut up and open it. Maybe there's other stuff wrapped inside. Ooh. Ooh, it feels like very soft in there. Okay, I thought he was gonna be the same size, but I think this doll is gonna be bigger. Um, it's like I don't even read the measurements before I buy things. This is like scaring me. I don't want to like rip the doll. Struggling here with bubble wrap. This is our doll. That looks kind of spooky if I'm being honest. <laughs> mummy? Happy mummy. Ooh, a mummy reborn? <gasps> okay, can you guys guess what it is already? Ba just based on the hair. Can you guess what it is? Did I spoil it in the title and the thumbnail? <laughs> Maybe there is no guessing involved. I never know what I'm gonna call my videos until like five seconds before I upload it. Let's unroll this burrito baby. Ooh, okay, I still don't see anything. Hello? <laughs> is anybody in there? Oh, it's, oh my God. It looks, ooh, <laughs> it feels so lame. It feels so alive, it looks so alive. 
I know, I know I don't hold things like a real baby. It's just, it's a, it's a doll. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't hurt it if it's not living. Maybe you can hurt it. No, you can't hurt it. It's not living. Oh my God. You guys. Is this the most realistic? Why? What is his accent? <laughs> is this the most realistic <laughs> avatar doll I've ever had? Look at its tail. Its tail is wrapped. You guys, I feel like this is the most, okay, now I am scared I hurt its little head. <laughs> yeah, this one feels fragile. <laughs> no, okay, I didn't, but I will never do that again. Okay, I've learned, I've learned my lesson because there is like some, um, paint or something that is settled in there but I didn't rip it you guys look at this doll oh it does like have a movie mouth a movie mouth <laughs> this is why I shouldn't film late at night you guys oh my god is this finally the one here's my only request with these dolls which literally there's no way to request these because I don't make them so I have no control over what happens with them but I wish that they had spines. Do you know what I mean? Like some sort of wire on the inside so that you could pose them and you didn't necessarily like have to hold the head up like this. <laughs> Lazy doll parenting. Now, I did find something for original Avatar Baby. I will try and insert a photo in here because maybe you guys could give me a suggestion because I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are in the doll community. And I know a lot of you guys like collect like um, ball jointed dolls, blithes and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people that own those dolls are really into taking like the realistic photographs and stuff of them. Maybe you guys have a better suggestion for me because I got one of these like clear doll all positioning stands, I guess. It is sort of like, I call it like an octopus thing, even though it literally has two arms and then a base, I think. And honestly, I put this away in our closet somewhere because I was really only using it when we were going to Disney and we were taking Avatar Baby there to try and like take some more realistic photos of him. So I was able to use that thing and kind of prop him up. And maybe it would work better on this doll because he is so much smaller and lighter. Do you guys have like a better suggestion for something that maybe I could use to prop him up and be able to like take photos of him? I don't know. Um, should we take a closer look? I really feel like we should because that's probably why you guys clicked on this video. So one of the things that I absolutely love about this doll is that um, it has like four fingers only, which really makes it look more alien to me. You know, that's that's kind of the look that I'm going for, because I know I've said this in every Reborn doll unboxing I've ever done, but just in case this is somehow the first video of mine you've ever seen, that's really the only kind of Reborn dolls that I collect. I like the monsters, the aliens, the werewolves, the vampires, the Avatar baby. I'm like, I feel like I have to be, can I be in the Guinness World Book of World Records for being like the pre preeminent Avatar baby doll collector? Can I say something real dumb? I've never seen the movie Avatar. Never, never, not once. I've seen like parts of it. I've never, why am I so into this? I don't know. Probably because I really love the color blue and they just look like a cross between like Elvis, not Elvis. <laughs> I was thinking of Elvis the alien, but they look, uh, they look like a cross between elves. That's what I was trying to say. Elves and aliens. And it came out Elvis the alien. Plus there is just something like almost werewolfish about the noses. And so I think it's just that complete combination for me just really makes me so into the Avatar dolls and probably also just the whole like Disney factor. Anyway, that's why so glad only has four fingers, only has four toes. And um, this one you guys is painted absolutely amazingly and I can't even describe like how soft and cool the silicone is like it really just feels lifelike which is probably why I also like these things is just because like my whole life I've loved like 
you know, the Halloween type of decorations, like those foamy kind of ones. I used to like carry those around with me when I was a kid. So I feel like that's why I'm so into this stuff because it's just a culmination of a bunch of stuff I've liked like throughout my whole life. So anyways, let's take a closer look at that tail. I really love this because honestly, I feel like there are so many elements of this doll that particularly remind me of the Pandora, the I always call it Avatar Land in Disney. Disney World because they sell a lot of merchandise that really has aspects like this, like this rope sort of um, a little loincloth he's wearing and also just like the rope wrapped around the tail or I don't know what this is. It's like some sort of design. <laughs> but it looks so cool. The hair is just so funny to me. It's just in such a crazy little um, shape and I love it. It's like not quite a mohawk. And not what what would we call this style? I don't know. Okay, so I also had ul ulterior ult ulterior motives for opening this doll today. Wait, first of all, um, let me do a quick iPhone clip of these two dolls side by side, just in case you guys were curious, like two dolls by the same artist, like what is the difference? Um, the new Avatar Baby is definitely slightly larger than Werewolf Baby, uh, but definitely just like the painting. I love this artist's stuttering. I love this artist's style. Just all the details. I feel like the details between the claws and the fingernails and toenails, like it's just amazing. I don't know, so lifelike. Even looks way better in real life than it did on the Etsy photographs. And uh, yeah, totally love, oh my gosh, like they, and they do have similarities as well, which I'm sure you guys will be able to see like the noses, like they both look very, like I, like I probably said earlier, like they both look like very werewolf to me, but even like, oh my God, I always thought like the werewolf was one of the softest dolls I've ever owned, but somehow the avatar baby, oh my God, I literally do feel like so dumb for holding the neck. I really didn't hurt it, but I really, this is one of those times where I'm like, I'm dumb. I am really dumb for real because yeah, this is definitely the only other doll I think I have in my collection that is equally as soft, if not still a little bit softer is the alien baby that we just did that whole video on where it was like somebody was trying to like steal that design and pretend they were selling it for like $10. That was a whole crazy thing. I'll link that video to you guys down below just in case you're curious and you like videos on like dolls and scams and doll scams. Anyway, um, as I was saying, my ulterior motive, I don't think that that's how I'm trying to say that word. I don't think that's the word I think I'm saying. I feel like I want to get more into like photographing these dolls just for like funny humorous purposes. Like I feel like this is something that I'm seeing more and more on Instagram and I love it is people in like the odd body Furby community. I feel like that is something that has just really blown up over the past year and I'm living for it. I really, really am. I love it so much. Um, and so I actually saw this photograph, which I will insert it into here so you guys can see. And I think that it's actually a photograph by a Furby odd body artist that I just bought a Furby from and I'll insert that photo here. It's like a Furby and they're the smaller ones. They're like the Furby buddies and they put like Barbie arms and legs on this thing. It's amazing. It is like currently one of my favorite things that I own. So anyway, like I was taking funny pictures of it and I just had so much fun, like literally posing this Furby. But anyway, I saw, I, I think it's that same artist Instagram account. They got a Barbie, like, I don't know what it's meant to be like a Barbie convertible Barbie Ferrari. And they were like putting these Furbies like in the Barbie Ferrari. And I'm like, this is just too funny. You know, like, I feel like that's what the world needs more of right now is just like stupid stuff that just like makes you laugh. And so like, I don't know, I kind of want to get into doing that a little bit more. I talked about this in a video on my main channel the other day too, where I was talking about how it would be fun to like get into like stop motion animation. And I just got like this Blythe doll. So I don't know. So anyway, I just found this vintage Barbie like lavender. I don't know. It's a car from like 1982. I think it almost looks like a vintage Barbie Mercedes. I will insert a photo of that there as well, just in case you're curious what I'm talking about. And I wanted to open this doll to see if I could measure him and think if he was like the size of a Barbie, could I buy this ridiculous vintage Barbie car 
and shove this avatar baby in there. And I think, I think he is probably, I think he's like obviously wider than a Barbie doll, but I think he's like the same length as a traditional Barbie doll. And I'm so excited, you guys, honestly. Um, I just want to find like little miniature sunglasses for him and everything else. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I want to just do something like really stupid and fun and just purely, not that it is stupid. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I make people mad when I say something is like stupid, but I guess I'm just like saying stupid for silly. I mean, obviously I don't think it's stupid or I like wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing it and I wouldn't be obsessed with it. And so, yeah, I don't know. I kind of just want to like get an Instagram account, like just for my like weird doll pictures and stuff, my Furbies, I don't know, but like just something fun. Um, and something that I really like, don't have to think about like, is it successful? Is it this? Is it that? I don't know. You guys know what I mean? I feel like everybody, not everybody, there are still some smart living people out there, but I feel like it is just so easy to like get all caught up in like, how many likes is this getting? How much this is this getting? Like, oh, I have to like do this and this and for that. And so I feel like this is just like a good, funny, creative outlet for me where like literally nothing matters. <laughs> And I feel like that is what I need in my life to de-stress. Basically, in a very long-winded way, I'm saying, I think I need a hobby. I feel like I want to like make some sort of apparatus to stick to the back of the head so that I can't possibly mess this up. <laughs> yeah, it really does remind me of my alien doll because you guys, I just set that one. Literally, we have him sitting on a shelf and I hardly ever pick that one up because the head is so big and the neck is so skinny. It looks so much like a real alien, but it is so fragile that I'm just like too scared, too scared that I'm gonna somehow rip its head off or something. It is really real. I feel like I should honestly do a video and you guys should let me know if you care or not, if I do um, an avatar baby collection video. Cause I feel like it's come to that, you guys. I feel like I have so many different avatar babies at this point that I could do a, co a co co collection video. Anyway, you guys, now I am talking way too much. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. Let me know, do you support my uh, Furby avatar baby Teletubby photographing Instagram account? That sounds so weird. Oh, and I'm literally looking down at an odd body creature. That is like one of my vlogoween videos that I'm gonna make this month. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make my own odd body. Cause I think that that's what they call all these animals where people will take. And like, uh, I've seen people do it with Elmo, Teletubbies, Furbies. Um, Kermit the Frog <laughs> and they will just turn them into these like weird amazing abomination creations and so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and make one myself for some day of Halloween. so if you're excited for that get excited anyway thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today for listening to my rambles for putting up with my weirdness and for being a fellow weirdo with me till I see y'all again which hopefully will be very, very soon. I don't know how much I'm gonna upload on this channel this month. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But anyway, hopefully I will be back again here very, very soon. But until I do, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back.